James, congratulations. Cheers, thank you. Hard fought victory over the defending champion. How would you sum up your performance? Disgraceful as I walk back to the left hand side. <laughs> uh, I just said it earlier on um, to, to like two or three people. Um, I, I practice in a club called Sovereign Club in Farnborough, and um, I practice with a guy called Mark Wheeler, and we chalk and walk. And I don't know why it came at me. You know, it should have come at me in the like the three or four or five, ten legs before. I walked back and I was like, oh, Jesus, why have you done that? And I, I felt like I am, um, I felt like I deserved to lose after that because that, that, that I, I think people have watched me for 20 odd years. I, I don't do something like that. And I, when I did it, I was like, oh, Jesus, why have you done that? But yeah, um, I won, move forwards. When you're playing Nathan, you can see he's in considerable pain with his arm. Is that harder for you to concentrate? We're all, on, we're all in considerable pain in different ways. Looking ahead, Ross Smith up next. Looking forward to the, to the battle and the contest. Yeah, because I'm due to come out of my shell. James, thank you very much. Thank you. What do you think that will do for you, James, coming out Sorry, of your what? shell? What do you think that will do for you in, in terms of that match coming out of your shell and showing what you can do? I hope so. If I, do, if I don't do it, I'll be lobster, won't I? I'll be lobster with butter. <laughs> But no, no, I, I've got to play well, so, you know. Um, but, you know, not every game's um, a flamboyant game. Not every game's like um, as what people believe it'll be. So, you know, I'm happy to move forwards and, and we'll see what will be. Do you, with a big game like that, do you need that to sort of get the motivation going? All I'm going to say is, do you not think I haven't played a big game of darts before? Many. How many? <laughs> Quite a lot. <laughs> So yeah, we'll see. If I turn up, you know, you know, old and golden, isn't it? If I turn up, I'm rubbish, and I'll go home. James. You well, hello, <laughs> Daisy Bell. How are you? Daisy Bell. Well, were you joining in? Look, you definitely look the oldest in here. Thank you. I've just been to Daisy Bell. That's the first one. One of the best. Uh, I was going to say he's an average writer. So I was going to say the he does all right at his job. Average writer. <laughs> Um, listen, you've been through so much, well documented, but does that yeah. give you, you've got the sort of skin of a rhino that you can dig in, you can yeah. keep going and keep fighting, and you can come back and win this again? Yeah, um, I wish all these nippers know what I've been through and what, and what I've experienced and how hard it's been, but none of them do. You know, they're, they're fresh, they're wet behind the ears. Um, I've gone through more hardship than any of you lot have gone through, pretty sure of that. Um, and if, if you've realised what I've gone through, you'd be quite like, um, so yeah, no, no, I've, I've, yeah, I've been through some right hard crap, especially recently, you know, not psychologically, just physically as well. Um, and, um, I've probably been through some of the hardest stuff anyone's ever experienced in darts, you know, with, with mental illness and recently physical illness, you know, and, um, and I appreciate you pointing that out. Um, well, I've, yeah, I think anyone close to me, I'll tell you, I'm a scrapper and I'm a fighter and I, I, I'm, I don't give in at what I do. And um, I've been really fortunate to be talented as I am and I, I've done all right in life. But Thank you. All the stuff you've been through, that gives you perspective. This is just a game of darts. And that's it's not you. just a game of darts, is it? That's why you said it. It's not just a game of darts. Yeah, but you can look at it in that way, can't you? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, you know, like I say, the kids in... So, sorry, I don't mean in a disrespectful way. Um, a lot of people in this room will think that I can't get to a final, I can't win a TV tournament anymore. But I think I think differently. Yeah, but you think that you can? I, yeah, I mean, I lost into a final of Peter Wright probably 12 months ago, 18 months ago. You know? I, you know... We'll see, you know. I think I'll win at least one more before I retire. If I've got to keep going till I'm 65, then it is what it is. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. James, on stage there you said that you've been quite lucky so far in this tournament, but given what you have been through, do you feel like you deserve a bit of luck almost? I think I've done myself injustice there by saying I'm lucky. Um, you know, Nathan hit some, oh, some special doubles at special times, you know, and realistically probably a lot of players wouldn't have hit those doubles at the right times and if they didn't do that I would have gone away and beyond I always do like the, the self def uh, sorry I always go defence on reflective of what other players have done rather than myself 
So I'm going to take that back from what I said on stage. And um, probably shouldn't have said that, you know. Um, as I say, uh, no, I don't don't believe that. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't believe that. I'm going. I'm looking for it now. I don't believe that. Uh, I believe that he was fortunate he hit the doubles that he hit and, and um, I was very unfortunate that, that he hit the doubles that he did at the time because other than that it probably would have been a little bit more straightforward than it was James. so I try and be I try and work out to make sure what I say is not disrespectful yeah. towards the player I'm playing just on that then actually because he did take out some, some yeah he took some wonderful some, finishes 8-6 I mean, on, on the bullseye I mean he's going to be 5-1 up so yeah. how do you sort of ignore all that and try and focus on not think about what the scoreline should have been but just track on with the yeah, game yeah no sure no I, I believe he took out probably four or five shots that I was like and I looked at the score and I was like Jesus why, why are you where you are and how are you doing what you're doing for, for me not him because obviously what he's doing is is a is a a, a personal thing but um, I just looked at the scores and I I believed I should have been further in front you know and um, yeah that's, that's why Nathan Aspel was where he is in the world. Um, I didn't want to listen to the... Uh, I don't, uh, wrong word is nonsense. Um, didn't want to listen to the whole sore arm stuff, you know. I've, I've got... I'm not going to say what I've got. Um, can't catch it twice. But no, um, I, I'm not going to say what, I'm gonna, what, what, what I have with my hands and my fingers and stuff because then it'll be me playing into the hands of that. But um, we've all got problems and we've all got... Um, uh, issues and uh, you know especially when you get to my age it's a little bit older and um, I've been doing it for 20 f see everyone thinks it's 20 years but I've been, I, I'm 41 now I've been doing it for 27 years 28 years so I think things become a little bit worn things become a little bit tired um, yeah we, we all have our own issues and our own things to, to cope with them and, um, and work with and we have to work with them because without that you can't continue. But I'd like to use it as an excuse sometimes. I might, I might do. Not saying Nathan is, because Nathan genuinely is going for surgery. So yeah. <coughs> I wish him all the best and um, a, a speedy recovery. Thank you, James. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. So when you're, <coughs> when you're facing someone like Nathan, who's a very animated character on stage, do you do anything to adjust your approach or to always prepare for the fact that if he does something big, like a big score or a checkout, he's going to no. take a little time? No, I'm James Wade. You know, and in my opinion, I've won more than Nathan has. Um, quite a lot more than Nathan has. Um, he's a great player, but th let's be honest, if I, if I turn up, you know, I, 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 I win. And um, I was really lucky I turned up in the way I did and I was very fortunate. But I, I, I'm a little bit, um, what's the word, frustrated that I get overlooked. And it's, it's like I'm overcompensating for it, but I'm James Wade, you know, I'm all right myself, not bad. There's obviously, like, you, you've mentioned there, obviously, with the Luke Little era of Dorf coming in. Phenomenal, is phenomenal it, player. Is, like you said, there's probably a good 60, 70% of people that might be watching tonight that don't know the history of James Wade. Perfect. Do you have a message for those guys at all? Like, do you, do you see a competition? Can like I bore this? them all? <laughs> I've won more than every other dart player apart from Phil Taylor and Michael Van Gerwen. There you go. That, that's my message. But I don't need it to be a message. Um, you know, if, if 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 the press or TV or the PDC don't want to... Um, I'm not saying they don't want to, because that's, that's disrespectful to everyone around me. But maybe I should be... Maybe, maybe I could have been celebrated a little bit different, but I'm not been, because I haven't done myself any favours. Um... <laughs> Um, so, yeah, um, but someone, someone like um, Luke, Luke's phenomenal, mate. I mean, uh, I didn't even realise that, like the stats. I was speaking to um, Ravi Vane, and he said um, the first f four tournaments he's played in, a floor tournament, a Euro tournament, UK Open, and the Premier League, he's hit nine darters in all of them. Do I believe it will continue? I'm not sure, and I, I, I um, agree with Glenn Dur Durrant. Is it Durrant? So it sounds like disrespectful to him. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce his name because I'm not interested enough in anyone else other than myself. Um, 
but he said it'll be either domination for two years or ten years. I'm not sure which one it'll be, and I do actually agree with that. You know, I, I, it, let's be honest, Luke's probably earned more money than most dart players, if not all dart players, in, in, a, in a year of his existence. So he doesn't need to play darts now, I don't, I don't think, if he's careful with money and sensible money. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, will the magic continue? I hope so, because darts, darts need someone like him. Um, he, he's um, influential and, and financially viable and, and, a, and a great pull. Um, but uh, I, I'm interested in seeing what he's doing, you know. He needs, he will have a, a downturn, and it, that's 100% it will happen. Um, but what I want to see is um, rather than uh, the UK get on his back and, you know, give him a bit of a hard time, including other dart players, is uh, support him a little bit, you know, because he will have a downturn and he will sh struggle and he will find things hard. Um, and then we'll see what, what he's really about. But I mean, for what he's done for the game so far, you know, people like me can only be uh, indebted to someone like him because he's I don't, I don't I don't think he even realizes what he's doing if I'm honest with you um, he, he's phenomenal um, yeah yeah but he will have a downturn in 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 time and 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 that's when we'll see what he's really 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 about and we haven't seen that yet and I hope everyone gets behind him a little bit and doesn't slate him when that does happen because it will happen and um yeah this game between yourself and Nathan Aspinall, it was a game of, between two real scrappers known for their never-say-die attitudes yeah. and the experience that you've brought into the game, obviously, with all the titles that you've won. Do you think that's just now put you instead for, uh, uh, as we said and you alluded to in your previous interviews, you, know, you said sometimes you don't get the rub of the green. Do you think now you're getting some of that rub and you want to obviously continue that rub? I, I think you have to earn the rub of the green. And I haven't earned it um, as much as I want to harp on about it and play the self-pity, which I'm great at doing. Um, but then again, I, I guess I have been unlucky. I think I've been lucky, quite unlucky in my career throughout. But I've also been really lucky in my career throughout. So, you know, like, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot of dark players that think they're good that would like to have, be as unlucky as I've been. So, um, so yeah, um, no, no, I've... You know, I, I don't think that I'm, I, I, by any stretch and means of the imagination, I don't think I'm done yet. I, I, in fact, I, I come here this week and thinking, everyone's going to think that I might get a game if I'm lucky, I might do this, I might do that. I've come here expecting what I'm expecting. Um, and all the press and the bookies and, and all of yourselves will be looking at certain players to do this and do that. If you think I've come here thinking anything anything other than I think I can win it, then, you know, I might go up next round and lose, whatever it's first to, I don't know. I don't even look that 16. far. Yeah, I, I might lose 16 nil. But don't think I've come here thinking that, 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 that I, it's not a viable option or a viable route for me to win a tournament like this. And I, I, I still think I can. Um, if I didn't think I could, I'd, I'd have a different like, um, outlook on it all. Um, yeah, I, I still believe that I will... Yeah, I will do what I will do. Not this tournament, perhaps. Not not two, three tournaments down the road. But if you think that I'm not a danger, then that, that's that's a great thing for me. That's a great thing for me. And I hope you celebrate the newer players and the younger players and um, blow lots of smoke up their backsides. Okay, everyone.